Hi everyone, I'm Graham. I'm joined again by Paolo, who's going to demonstrate some features of this interactive large format display. Yeah, thank you very much, Graham. So, in a separate video, we discussed um, around bring your own device in the meeting room. So, where users will bring in a, a personal device or a laptop, connect to our interactive large format display, and get a really good meeting room experience which is maximized for collaboration and engagement and using the onboard camera speakers and microphone that's included into the large format display. What we're going to do right now is have a look at how we can connect to existing meeting room technologies. And specifically, uh, we're gonna look at, in this scenario, a uh, Microsoft Teams room device. So this is the Lenovo ThinkSmart hub that's running a Teams room platform on board. I'm going to show you how by connecting this to the interactive large format display gets you some additional benefits when you're in the meeting room. Okay. So it's really simple. I say in this scenario, I'm using our Think Smart Hub, but we also have um, different meeting room systems that you can have a look at, such as the Think Smart One uh, or the Think Smart Full Core uh, Room and Control Kit depending on what your, your needs are and depending on what your room sizes are. We also have those in different platforms as well. So say in this scenario, I'm going to use Microsoft Teams because that's what we use. Um, we also have Zoom um, platforms and then we also have a separate kit for Google. But in this scenario, I'm going to have our Microsoft um, uh, Teams room device here. I've connected it to the interactive large format display um, in this configuration with a DisplayPort and a USB. And what that's going to enable me to do is that when I launch a specific application uh, within our Teams room call, such as a Microsoft whiteboard, I'm able to then start annotating from the large screen. Now, you know, fantastic to have the whiteboard capabilities, but if you do not have the correct input device to be able to really start to brainstorm and annotate, that application becomes a little bit redundant. So showing how these technologies can work together to really maximize uh, the collaboration from, from your users. So I've set up a call now. So I'm just going to join this call. And you can see I'm active on the call there. Now in this scenario, what I simply need to do is launch a Microsoft whiteboard. And I can do that either via the user or now with the latest updates, I can actually do it via the Teams room panel. So I'm going to share a whiteboard and that's gonna start to come onto my screen at the moment. And then in this scenario, as I've configured it up as an additional touch display in the Microsoft Windows settings, I'm able to pick up a pen and start to annotate straight away. And this is being shared with the other people on the call? This is being shared with the other people on Which the call. I can, so I've got pretending to be Alex Wilbur here, so I can yeah. be anywhere in the world. And I'm presuming then that if I was to start on here, I can whiteboard back again? Exactly, that's the beauty of the Microsoft whiteboard, especially on a Teams call, is that anyone on that call that is being shared to that, that whiteboard as well, who have access into being able to control and being able to input into that as well. So a really nice feature to have from the, uh, an interactive display such as the Lenovo Think Vision, connected with a Microsoft Teams room device to enable that interaction and that touch for the applications like whiteboard. This is brilliant because not everyone can be present in the room and with hybrid working, there's probably always gonna be someone who's not in the office that day. So they get the same experience. This is, this is fantastic. E exactly, and it starts to move those conversations around just presenting and presentation, moves it into conversation where you can go and you can start to collaborate and you can start to input your ideas and co-create together. And to do that, you're gonna need the, the specific devices that will allow you uh, and enable you to, to maximize those collaboration opportunities. Brilliant, thank you very much. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and check out some of our other videos. Thank you, Paolo. Thank you, Graham. Take care. Thank you very much.